Hey everyone, it's Nathus, and today I'm hosting a bronze event on this Steam client for Soulforge Fusion. So I actually just did a prize selection stream just so everyone could see it live and anyone could go back and, and check the live stream for the first invitational that I ran um, that just happened to come through um, and finish up over the last few months. And I'm working on getting the prizes out to everybody. Um, but I just went off live and then realized, wait a second, I'm running an event in about seven minutes. So I'm jumping back on. I probably just could have stayed on that same stream, um, but I will be streaming today's event. So it's going to be a three round bronze event. Um, set one, two, and three decks are going to be legal. Um, I actually have to figure out what I'm going to be playing, but I just want to make sure I got on to the stream and I will be jumping into the chat in a second. Um, but definitely looking forward to today's event. Um, and I'm really hoping that people enjoy it. So I think as of now, and I'm going to double check real quick before I get into discord, I think we had five people signed up, um, as of maybe about a half hour ago. Um, so I'm interested to see where we're at. So let me check that real quick. It looks like we are still at five. Um, so yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Um, so I'm going to jump into the discord now and then I'm probably going to mute myself on the discord while I am scrambling to figure out what I might fuse for tonight. So I got about six minutes to do so. So thanks for tuning in. Hey, what's up guys? Hello. I got to quickly figure out what I'm playing tonight. <laughs> yeah, I literally just got my three like an hour ago. So <laughs> oh, sick. I haven't played it, but I might just try one. Yeah, that's what I'm I'm just probably going to see if there's any like cool set three decks I could like search through real quick and be like, oh, yes, let's play something with this. There's been some that I've been testing, but I want to just kind of try to find something I haven't played before. Do you know if, like, for things that are still bugged, is, like, Blighted Circe bugged? Because I literally just got that. I don't think so. Um, I've never used... The, uh, there's a few of the Blighted Circe abilities I haven't used yet, but I think it's working. Um, I know we've got a pretty small event, so I would say, like, please feel free to give it a go. Like, the stakes are pretty low tonight, so... Um, oh, worth yeah, I'll try it out. Up, everyone. Hey guys, so uh, what's, what's the event that's happening tonight? Um, so yeah, it's a constructed bronze event. So it's going to be three rounds, and then you could play any bronze or unranked decks, and then just you play against opponents, and yeah. Oh, so it's it's not like a stone blade thing where we have to pay money? No, it's free. Um, so I'm I, I run events as a forge guardian, so I guess they're like they're still official events. It's just you don't have to pay money, and you don't get any like sealed decks from it but you get to bring your decks and play them in the event and then potentially earn renowned. And then for all the events that I run, I actually host invitationals every um, quarter of the year. Um, so this past one, I'm just finishing up prizing out and like everyone's getting tons of stuff and it's completely free. So there's also that incentive of if you participate in enough events, you, you just qualify for those with free of cost. Oh, nice. Yeah. You're totally welcome to join. I could repost the link if you'd like. Um, but the more the merrier. Uh, about how many people are y'all expecting? Um, right now, it looks like we have five registered. Um, so then if you join, it would be six. Um, but no matter what for these bronze events, um, especially the ones that are later in the evening, at least um, U.S. time, I just limit them to three rounds. So it's just guaranteed three quick rounds, and then you're all set. So they usually take about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Okay. Uh, no pressure, though. Well, I don't really have anything prepared right this second, so I guess maybe <laughs> not this time, but uh, in the future, for sure. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Yeah, Thanks I, I know. I'm scrambling this to a few something new right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, good luck, y'all. Yeah, thank you. All right, so it looks How's like everyone doing tonight? we are all here. Good, how are you? I've uh, been better. I threw oh, my no. back out Thursday night. Oh, that sucks. 
Uh, I was supposed to go up to Michigan for my uncle's funeral Friday. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thursday night, like 30 minutes before I was getting ready to go to bed, I did something, and I don't, I don't know, my back's been bad ever since, though. So. I'm sorry to hear that. And I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. Ugh. I'm panicking because we have like two minutes before the event starts. Actually, everyone's here. So I'm going to pick something that maybe I've already fused, but not that I've not really played yet. I want to play something different. This Mike sure it's really bad. Thanks. What's up? I said, Mike sure it's really bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I could do that. Or well, you know what I might do, actually? Even um I'll anything do the... sam plays is always gonna be good i know no, no. um what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a random number generator and i'm gonna play some seal tonight so i just want to have some fun oh we've got a sixth member now yes oh who just joined Unk. hell yeah perfect no buys Let's see how many set two deck or set three decks do I have? I've got one hundred and one. How do I have an extra one? Well, that'll be a mystery for another day. Um, Did you win it as a prize in an event? Maybe I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, but I think I got one or two from Cardboard Newt when I got some stuff from them. All right, hmm. so ninety six is one of them, and seventy five. All right. Hopefully they're not the same faction. You doing a random fuse? Yeah. Uh oh. I did that earlier today. That was it wasn't really random, but it was two decks I hadn't played before, and then it turned out bad. <laughs> Oh no, this first one is not great. <laughs> I can tell off the bat. Right, so. All right, let's see. All right, so I've got two decks. I just got to fuse them real quick and then I'll be ready. One of them and the other is Walker of Cartographers. Okay, I'm just putting this into myself for the event. Sorry for the delay. Now watch, this somehow ends up being like a nasty fuse. <laughs> it won't be though, I hope. I hope it's just new stuff that I haven't played with before. All right, so everyone else looks like they are checked in. Um, so tonight's event is going to be three rounds. It looks like we have six total people. Um, so we have no buys, which is going to be awesome. Um, with that, um, if anyone has any technical difficulties as they go, um, so try to, if, if your game crashes, try to finish another game within your time limit. If there's anything that's like, um, hey, we finished the time, the game crashed a bunch of times, reach out to me and we'll figure out a solution for that. But hopefully we won't get to that point. Um, but overall, each round is going to be 50 minutes. And um, yeah, and then everyone who participates today will be getting um, 
invitational points towards my next invitational. So does anybody have any questions before I start the pairings for round one? All right, so let's get this going. All right, so we have Austin versus Isaac at table one, Paul versus Thomas at table two, and then me versus Ben at table three. Good luck, everyone. Oh, I have I've been muted this whole time. Oh, I? no. <laughs> Oops. Uh, so how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Uh, trying some new new theories. Nice. Uh, we'll see. I did a random um, fuse for today. I want to just see if there's some cards that I wanted to look at and give them a go. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. There's a small chance that I may have to like disappear for a few minutes if, oh no worries for toddler stuff if uh, he's not going to bed but we'll see what happens i can just forfeit it's no big deal no don't worry Anything. about it we'll figure it out all right let's gonna start is... the timer and we're all set Been enjoying watching your box openings. Oh, awesome. thank you. Yeah, I, I record a ton of them all at once. And like Fletch actually messaged me and was like, where's your box opening for today, yesterday night? And I was like, oh, I must have missed a day in my schedule. <laughs> yeah. All right. So have you opened up the foil stuff yet? Or you... I did, yes. Okay. No, no spoilers, but I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was a lot of fun. That's an interesting card, but dark shaper. Oh no, one of the cards in your hand. Yeah, it's just there's like there was a specific modified card. I'm like, yeah, that's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. <laughs> um, it's interesting with the other cards in the hand, but I see. Gotcha. All right. Um... That a little smaller. Oh no. Yeah, I gotta let that go. I gotta get that off the board. Yeah, it makes sense. Hmm. That's also interesting. I guess that technically works. Uh -oh. I feel weird <laughs> pumping or making your thing have more attack, but that makes sense. Oink. Well, guess I make you make hard decisions. That is an interesting decision. Huh. I gotta get rid of the Apocalypse answer. Yeah. I was almost greedy. <laughs> Uh, oh, I didn't even notice this card was in this deck. Okay. That's a fun one. Oh, determined choice. Does that work? Can you actually see my hand this time? I have no idea, to be honest. I guess we will find out. 
This is actually the first time I'll ever be using Determine Choice. That's something I've been telling myself I want to test, and I just haven't yet. Yeah. I feel like it was bugged where you can't see your opponent's hand. I know people have used it against me before, actually, so it's got to work now. Oh, okay. That's fair. Nice. I don't think Drix is surviving anyway, so... Yeah. I want to play the Tremorsaur that I've never been able to play before, but this uh -oh, is just the bad. better... Yeah, I don't know how I feel about Tremor Swear. It seems like it's just a cool card. Yeah, for sure. That's interesting. That card's also good. No, too much upgrade. <laughs> okay, um, River of Souls. Yeah. It's such a good card. It's pretty good. Especially because you have some solid targets that you could be, like, bringing back as well with your list from what I've seen so far. Yeah. Um... I gotta get this off the board. Makes sense. Um, do I use that one now or do I save it? We're saving it. Saving the... Saving the term choice, okay. Um... Let's just do that. Alright, so things gonna get out of control, I guess. Separated the elk, it looks like. Mm -hmm. How do I get screwed here? Let's, um... Let's do that. Uh, carrier. Actually, oh, yeah, I think it is. Can you see my hand? Yes. Sweet. Hmm. 
So I chose the Pulse Mage? Um, Shard Witch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Pulse Mage. Okay, so... Yeah, I had a feeling that was potential yeah, of what know. may happen. I'm not sure if that's what I, a good choice or not, but here we are. Oh, it really works. Test Mage is going to keep on getting bigger and bigger. No. That's not a good use. I feel like I have to give up on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Tremor sore. Scoop. <laughs> Drix is doing a dance. He is. I'm afraid of cycle three of so many gold cards. Yeah. I look like they're building shutter psyche, okay. Um I'm 
Ugh. This feels like a little bit of a waste, but it's okay. No! <laughs> No, <laughs> so big. <laughs> uh... That Trix is really staying alive. <laughs> we just stare at each other for now. <laughs> Drix is staring at Gridalon, like, I'm not getting through that. Still is the right card to play. Uh, what is this? Oh, researching comes in here. Okay. Oh, wow. That's really good. Yeah, this is what I have to do, unfortunately. Oof, okay. Let's give it stealth finally. <laughs> yeah, okay. That thing is just big enough, isn't it? Okay. Um... Okay, wait, can I get that off the board? Um... This works. I could have probably done that turn a little bit better. Uh, okay. Um, well, nice.
Yeah, I've been trying this, like, control build with the River Souls and Replacement and Dark Shaper idea. This is definitely a really sweet list. Let's make a really big pulse mage. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think it's in my best interest to kill my Undrix, so... Are you streaming tonight? Yes. Cool. Uh, I think it's gonna be this. Uh oh. So you got a free creature out of that? Yeah, we'll go with. Oh, this one makes more sense here. Oh, okay. that hurt me? That's the question. Hmm. Guess we're just gonna... Oh, wait, what's this thing do? Can and... Uh-oh. Wow, those are <laughs> mega opener. Okay. Um Yeah. Right, that had to basically be my only option because then like it makes you hopefully not want to play anything else. <laughs> Yeah, um, sort of, but not really. Let's see. Um, I guess. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, I don't think unless you have a way of getting life. Oh. 
sleep on that might might not make a difference. Oh yeah. GG. GG. All right, and it looks like we're the last ones. So good luck right. the rest of it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Thank Sam. You. All right, so it looks like me and Ben were the last ones. Um, so Ben, are you submitting that now, or do you want me to submit it on our behalf? Uh, I can, I can do it. All right, awesome. Yeah. It'll load. Um, you want yeah. me to do it? Cause I have the screen up. No, oh, I got it. All right, awesome. This is my computer thing slow. Okay. All right, good stuff. So everyone is submitted. So we'll start the second round. All right, so we have Isaac versus Paul at table one, Ben versus Thomas at table two, and me versus Austin at table three. Good luck, everyone. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. All right, let me add you on Steam, because I don't think we have each other there yet. I don't think so, actually, yeah. Uh, how'd your first game go? Went pretty well. Like, it was fun. Um, His deck was a lot better than the one <laughs> that I brought tonight. He had, like, a Apocamancer Drix, like, re reanimate combo going, which was really strong. Um, but it was a lot of fun to play against. How did yours go? Oops, I'm literally typing in my own friend code. As oh. I'm like, <laughs> how, how did yours go? Uh, it was going well, and then um, he was able to reanimate a creature in one turn with 48 damage with Whoa. aggressive. <laughs> I'd never seen that before. That's crazy. Um, That's a lot of... It was with River of Souls with Reconstruct that was Betrayer. Oh, with, uh, that's wild. And he had Oros, second power, which has plus two for each spell with like seven spells. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I'd never seen that before. I was, uh, I'm not seeing that in... Oh, here it is. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, perfect. There we go. So, yeah, it was <laughs> definitely interesting. It sounds it for sure. Reconstruct is a crazy card. That's, is that new to set three? It is, yeah. Yeah, it was because it's free. Um, the level two, so yeah, which makes it so it good. All, yeah, it was all like on his on his turn, and he was a second player, so it was like nothing I could do. It was interesting. Yeah, yeah. I get that, <laughs> but. Yeah, I will no, say, I out of because I ended up picking two random decks at the beginning. They synergized pretty well. I was impressed with how my deck played with uh, like played within itself, um, but it was just like a little too slow for what Ben was doing. But I don't hate the pairing, <laughs> and good luck nice. by the way. Thanks. Yeah, you too. Um... Look at what's in there. I realize I never started the timer. Let me do that real quick. Even though I guess we technically won't need it, but <gasps> excuse me. So you summoning council, I assume. Yes. All right. Cool. We'll go. I'm gonna see if this works well with that tremor sword. Oh, that's when your oh, it's when the player gets damaged. <laughs> yeah, this is like the opposite uh, thunder sword. So whenever you're doing oh, okay. damage by yeah. an enemy creature, okay. 
which I'm like, that seems pretty um, sick. Interesting. This is also. Huh. I think we're going to start with. I don't want to do it in that order. We're gonna do that. This card seems better than that. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like that guy. I will say Tremistor is probably one of the more interesting cards in this set because I feel like it's like, I almost like I'm like, you know, I want to take this five damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want this to get as large as possible. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it has the breakthrough. But the prevailing Tusk Mage is good too. Yeah, it's like probably my favorite prevailing creature because it's like you upgrade something and you get the toughness. Nice. And we've got Bones of Solace. I'll put it there. Nice. Infernal Ritual with Bones of Solace is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been... Yeah, I guess I'll get big damage, though. I think I've got to force this alive as long as I can. I don't have Ooh. any spirits in my banish pile, though. That makes me pretty sad. Oh, and it's going to get really big, too. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. oh, here's upgrading all your cards. Yeah, like, prevailing feels like you just have a necromancer on board every turn. Like, it's pretty sick. Yeah. Oh man. Now the question is, do I use this now? Might be worth it. Why not? The... It forces me to play a card. Yeah, yeah, so basically I look at your hand, you have to play one of the whatever card I pick. Which I think at this mm. point will be the Everflow Eidolon. I'm very happy to not have to deal with that Infernal Ritual right now. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I would have been able to kill the Tremor Sword either way. Yeah. I 
And your Bones of Solace is like pretty close to transforming too. I'm just glad I was able to have a hand where I ended up with two creatures at the end. So now at least these are oh. thick. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be all level threes. Oh, man. Stone. So that's actually a spirit. Dang it. Oh, this is two. Okay. Hmm. Oh, actually. I swap these. Okay. That's a plan. Oh no. I was not thinking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the four damage. Yeah, for a, I was like, yeah, I'll be able to give my, my health to it first and upgrade first. <laughs> nope. We'll upgrade this. <laughs> nice. Okay. The same health, you just have everything upgraded. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Actually, that's interesting. Oh, it's level two. Never mind. No, we'll pick your level three ability. Oh, it is level three. Okay. I can do that. 
and just, just wipe That's everything. That's solid. That's a good play. Guess I've got a important current state so it's gonna be Makes sense. Yeah, I might as well just kill that for now. This is going to be close. <laughs> okay.
Oh, man. Oof. I'm terrified of that soul swap, though, I will say. I was hoping I could present enough damage on board. Like because of soul swap, I can't actually play the card. <laughs> if I do this, okay, that's interesting. Ugh. Oof, but you're gaining mm. nine life off of that. Damage does that do? Eight, five. Oh, I guess you have a decent amount. Right now it's 13 plus 5, so that's 18. That's 26. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. I forgot you could pick your creature, too. Yeah, my plan was to, like, do, like, uh, aggressive with, like, one of my creatures with, like, two health and then, yeah. and then do, like, a uh, aggressive thing. It just takes a while to get to that final round, but... I get that. Yeah, I don't know. Um... Yeah. All your upgrades, it's nothing I can do. Nice. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can do. I guess. Yeah, because at that point, you're only taking yes. nine. Yeah, I guess I do have a little health left. Yeah, it's just, I guess I'm surviving. You, it looks like you're going to survive for sure. This is a good game. Um, let's see. <laughs> 
I thought I for sure lost the. <laughs> oh man. Drop this. Ah, but you have aggressive. I'm curious if changing if you're swapping attack and health is technically gaining attack. It is not. Interesting. So the Everflow is a spirit, so it does count. Um, oh, what's up? So the Everflow counts as a spirit, so. Are you talking about with the Cherish Shrine? Um, or for with the this guy. Oh, okay. So I can actually kill it. That's pretty sick. Wow, I didn't even realize that was a, the desecrating ability. So, for three more spirits, you banish pile, destroy up to one level one or two creature. That's sick. Yeah. Huh. I didn't have any spirit. I didn't think I had any spirits, but I guess <laughs> because you forced me to play this ever spirit thing. That's true. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Ugh. This was a close game. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, there's nothing else has good enough health. Um, so I'm trying to think. You can make mine lower, but that yeah. doesn't help. Is there anything that'll make yours higher? I guess not. Um, no, I can just get you down to seven. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Wow, that was such a close game. Ugh, well played. Yeah, you as well. I really liked your list though, Fun. and being able to mantis the soul swap. That was the first time I've seen that actually happen, and like it seems like that could be pretty devastating. Like, yeah, I think it's just too long to build up, but it is. Yeah, see. Large... I, I like the mantis. Bit. Yeah, me too. Just because the level two, just because the level two with a mantis, it's nice. But then, uh, yeah, I just don't have a level two for like forge, so it takes. I yeah. seem to survive. I get that. And actually, I think we were the last one, so let's jump back into the main. Oh, oops. Yeah. No, yeah, we've, right. we've, well, I think the other one just finished as we did as well. Thanks for the game. Yep. All right, let me just let um, Paul and Isaac know that everyone else is done. ...and tried to kill two of your worms. Just so you guys know, the, uh, the other games are done as well. Uh, All right. Thanks, Mike. Right We're done. Bye -bye. See you back there. See you there. All right. So we are about to go into round three. Um, so after your game in this round, you're welcome to stick around, but you're also welcome to head out as soon as you guys submit your results. Um, so thank you, everybody, for joining today. Um, and with that, does anyone have any last-minute questions before I start the final round? All right, good. Yeah, stuff. Thanks for thanks for hosting. Yeah, no, thanks for joining. Thanks, Titus. Anytime. All right, so we'll go to the final round. We've got 
Ben versus Paul at table one, me versus Isaac at table two, and then Austin versus Thomas at table three. Good luck, everyone. What's up? Not much. How have you been? Good. How about you? I heard the, the new job. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I start officially on Monday. Um, was My last day was officially on Friday of my last job, and it felt real good. <laughs> So I'm playing with my uh, Phantom deck, because I only have seven days, I think, left with it. It is very fun, but uh, I will miss it. <laughs> I got to skim through this real quick. Double stalking, that's pretty sick. With a betrayal. Okay, so I think um I forget. I think I was playing against Austin. Did you play against him round one? Yeah. Yeah, because he was like, oh, yeah, there was a River of Souls with a reanimation. And then, like, a 50-something power creature out of nowhere. Yeah, oh, that's so sad that this yeah, is going to disappear. Reanimated the stalking beast um, into Dark Forge, into Reconstruct. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. So oh, that's fun. And I had a close-up with Paul. I love, he he uh, had a full row of Thunder Crash fields, and I went for glory and lost. Oh, no. Oh, crap. You definitely don't want to reconstruct that, Mantis. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I I need to get it out of level one. Though. I know. I'm I just kidding. <laughs> it's more important to have out of it. Take one last damage. I might regret that six toughness though. I was gonna say I'll take the fat side of it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got for I didn't really look at your deck. I watched a little bit of yours and Ben's, but hmm. Oh the Tusk Maze. That's a fun combo. Yeah, honestly, like this combo has not been bad. Like I've I've kind of enjoyed it. I'm like, because it was cool. Like I randomized it completely, and um, yeah, definitely. Like we'll mess with. I think at least the screen half more. I do like it how cultivating guardian is a common. They're everywhere. Yes, a fun card. I agree a thousand percent. Oh. No, I'm not going to wait to do that. But yeah, just the amount of stealth you have in this fuse is awesome. For me, thanks. <laughs> I have zero regrets. Kind of. Um. Yeah, that's all that you even have the ability to reconstruct your reconstruct or whatever. Upgrade it from the caller. I know, it's probably going to be like two months after my deck disappears. You're going to be like, we figured out how to Make it so you can buy it from us. Oh, I know. That's probably what's going to happen. Like, yes. I know people were like already messaging about it. I think I saw it in like Ozforge, and I think they said they were going to try to make it a capability, but that it likely 
will not be ready by the end of this month. Which is sad. Oh, crap. I was, like, waiting for you to do something. I didn't even see the Talison trigger for a second. Um, we'll start with it. Yeah, the next two weekends are booked up, unfortunately. So I'll be off for a little bit. But... Is it, like... Work stuff. Well, I guess it's the weekends. But do you do you work Weekend. the weekends with the construction stuff, or is that only? Nope, I'm I'm free weekends. Nice. Sometimes I get pretty booked up, but this um July Fourth weekend. Oh yeah, you're right. Headed up to camp. Oh hell yeah. Unacceptable. I was gonna say that. And a Virix embrace. <laughs> Roid Rage. I've never gotten him on a, a, a exalt yet. Me That's neither. My, my exalts are pretty bad with the couple of shield droids I have. Oh, I clicked done too soon. Oh well. Oh no, why? Oh, it for the, the river? <laughs> the free damage. That's right, I'll use those stupid minions, I'm sure. I'm sorry. stuff maybe right. we'll see <laughs> this didn't do We're going to do it. <laughs> that was the whole point of that turn, was to make sure that I could... No! <laughs> I had to... No, I respect it. I didn't even get to activate my roid. Oh, that math does not check. Um, let's try that again. <laughs> We're taking a little bit here. Makes sense. Also makes sense.
Oh wow, this is. I wish that the talisman ability made a noise. So I'm like sitting here, like boop 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 boop, oh. and like. <laughs> All right, let's see. I will. Aw. Aw. You're a monster. <laughs> Although, actually, that helps me a little, I think. If I do this, flip. Yeah, you got one creature I'm worried about. But, um, so I maybe should have sp spread my love there, but oh well. Mm. Going all in. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I wasn't going to be able to kill that either way, unfortunately. I just, I, I couldn't do all that on my first action, because if you predetermined choice me, I would have wasted quite a bit oh, of stuff. Oh, I know. Like, I also didn't even want to activate Talisman, because I didn't need that other dude out there. But Oh, I also could have won last game too, but I don't get spirits in my banish pile, so my Holler of Souls at level 3 was just worthless. Oh no. So depressed. He had a full board of <clears throat> Thunder Crash Field spell swarms and I could have took him out early. That's brutal. <clears throat> Oh, Grove Mother, watch out. Oh, no. Get this will actually let me play another card. Oh, I'm dead. GG. <laughs> that deck is sick. I'm so sad that you're going to lose that purple half. I know, because you can find all those cards, but you're not going to find a, a reconstruct. I know. With a river of, river of souls and spun on it in and of itself. But Yeah, that was sick. You should just message Jerch a couple times and just be like, hey, Jerch, what can I do, please? And take a billion screenshots of it and they can just recreate it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll trade my collection for it. <laughs> Deal. No, I'm just kidding. No, no. Um, all right, awesome. Do you want me to put in the result for you or do you want to throw it in? I can throw it in. I got it open. Awesome. 
Well, it was good playing against you, and that was a really cool list to see. Like, I feel like that's like a perfect Dark Forge drain pair because it's like double stalking with a, a Betrayer Reconstruct was insane. Yeah, it was oh. solid removal and shenanigans. Yeah, Colors a little for fun. Um, the Cersei isn't bad either. It's got a uh, Grave Robber. Um, but Cersei's propaganda or whatever is kind of bugged right now, so I'm not even. Um, Paul said it works if your creatures in the exalt lane and the enemy creatures also in it in their exalt lane. So the full board has to be exalt. Bunch of exalts. So. Interesting. What's propaganda again? I haven't actually used it. That's where. Let me look at the list here. I believe. It's like give a creature minus stats, and if it's in, oh, uh, it's if it's in a lane with exalt, an exalt, yep, yep. Yeah, if your exalt and Oros reads their exalt, which isn't as good, yeah, um, but it, I think both of them are bugged. I'm not sure about the Oros one because you can never pull it off because no one has an exalt. Unless yeah, I get it. Playing set two or three deck, <laughs> <sighs> but. Yeah, um, what was I going to say? So you said the next couple weekends you're you're going to be tied up? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, but if anything, we also should, like, you said you'll be at Gen Con, right? Nope. Oh, I no, can't. you won't be. Oh. Yep, I wish. Yeah, yeah summer, summer travel for me is, is definitely a no-go. I get that. But at some point, we should just, like, get some competitive games in and stuff, because I know, like, it's been a while since I've, like, really started testing, and I got to start doing that, because Gen Con's, like almost like four weeks away which is kind of scary to think about <laughs> yeah I'll, yeah i'll throw my best at you um that purple half of playing with i don't have a dark horse drain like yours like that one you sent me recently about the you have like 10 ways to trigger oh i know it's crazy like oh this is the river of souls and, all, and it, this is a dark forge three not a not a two i need a, a better dark forge two with like mm-hmm. some free plays I will say, though, the one that I sent you with the 10 ways to trigger it, like, there's some games where it's insane, and there's some games where it's like, oh, I missed all of my reanimation pieces, and now it's just, you have it, you could do it, like, two two times, maybe three. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. it's got yeah. its high rolls, but it's got its low rolls, where... Yeah, it's um, not super consistent, then. Yeah, the other version, though, that's, like, a lot more spell slingy and removally, like, seems like it plays better, but it's just not as fun. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know, I'm, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I was gonna, there was something that was on my mind, but I already forgot it. Um, but yeah, I already want to open a lot more set three. Like, the set's fun. Yeah, I even, uh, I don't know if it'll disappear in the next two weeks, but I definitely bought, uh, an online just because I didn't have any more physical product. I'm like, I'm going to play a little sealed one tonight online and open one up, and there's some really fun stuff in there. Can't awesome. hold it in my hands, but uh, it at least scratched the itch a little bit because, yeah, I don't have anyone. Well, I guess Jurch is around. I probably could go buy one, but lazy. I get it. <laughs> yeah, and, like, honestly, with the so, like, me and Liz are going to be looking at moving at some point later this year because, like, with the new job, it's going to be a much larger or longer drive for me. And like, we were talking about moving anyway. So like it it's going to work out well in that sense, but like moving all of my cards is going to be a nightmare between all of the games and stuff. So it's like, I'm like, man, like it would be nice to not have to haul these around. <laughs> I can't imagine. I just have a couple hundred to keep track of and it's, uh, that's a lot, so I don't know how you do it. Yeah, well, it's every time I have to look for a deck these days, it's I've got to like scramble and I don't even know. It's it's brutal, <laughs> but <sighs> and actually, um, I did the roll for the um so, invitational tenth, tenth, I think. Okay, yeah, because I know. Uh, I, the, 13th, the part maybe the part that made me laugh was that like just by chance cardboard nuke got the last spot <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think you were 
Oh, you were 14. Um, Thomas got first, so Solomon, I think he'll be thrilled. Um, yeah, thanks for throwing that up. That was, that was sweet. Yeah, and the part that I'm just like not worried about, the part that's going to be an effort, is that technically the invitational period for this next one ends in eight days. <laughs> so I'm like, we're going to prize this one out, and I'm like, we have to go right into the next one. Um, but I might potentially push this one until after Gen Con and then just increase the prize just to like accommodate the fact that it's going to be a month later than expected. Um, yeah. We'll see. But I was just with the, like the whole job search and then getting ready to start this new job. It's been so busy that it's like, oh, this list you sent me is, is wild. That Betrayer Wildfire made with six spells. I haven't seen one with six spells yet. I was actually kind of pumped for this. This was one of the online ones. And I'm like, why didn't I get this during a seal? Because I had a purple that's really yeah. good too. And Fertile Grounds, an insane card. Like, you've got the Blighted Oros. So you have another, like, um, Exalt for your Exalted trigger for the uh, Maiden. Like, this is interesting. And you technically have the Everflow Idol on the pump stuff. It just looks like there's not a ton of ways to, in this list pump stuff in the blighted oros lane and i feel like the flip ability for oros is one of the worst of the ones that they're out there it's it's definitely tough it's just so um, much I'm effort to give to something a blighted oros but uh it's the abilities aren't even that amazing underneath it um yeah if if, if they were swapped it'd be a little better but um for sure because i think deep yeah, deep wood assault at the end, and you're not usually going to see that thing anyway. So exactly, uh, I put this with like a rallying, uh, my rallying sculptor, so I can oh. at least get like ferocious roar after, and I can do it that way. Um, but uh, predatory attack, I haven't even really got to play it yet. But it's like uh, there's a couple cards that seems it's like interesting with like that with sharp plate behemoth was pretty sick, where it's like, hey, I'll oh, battle yeah, something and give it more health. Stronger. I don't know. It's it is just... only two. I thought it was three at the last one because I haven't yeah. seen that. Okay, so it's like a not a poor man's because it's kind of better than a Uterra Charger if it works. But uh, usually that second battle, you're not you're not winning and surviving even with the plus seven cycle three. But it'd be cool if it actually worked. Um, and Lysian Shard, unless you have a way to upgrade it is pretty tough but fertile ground is like one of my favorite cards in this new set just keep throwing guys out there out of your hand it's it's so good yeah just wait till the like that and river of souls just wait till the second action when they can't respond and just throw a whole board out there yeah i was playing paul and he had grave robbery and it was so hard to gain back board because all and he took my mantis so there's even more yeah. yeah, I think Grave Robbery is like one of the better new abilities. Especially yeah, with like the current meta. It seems like it could be wild. And predetermined choice is I think very fun too. Yeah. I need to mess around with some Ford Seal Mantises yet. No, that's actually the first determined choice two that I've opened, and I opened it pretty recently, I think. Um yeah. I honestly playing it today, I'm like, oh I gotta mantis seal this. Although I feel like it's it's nerve wracking to play against, but it needs to have a good deck under it. I think is the the biggest challenge. And here, let's jump into the main voice chat room because I think everyone else finished up. Um, Sounds good. All right, so I think looks like everyone is done. So I'll finalize this and end the event. So it looks like we had Paul in first, Ben in second, Isaac in third, Thomas in fourth, me in fifth, and Austin in sixth. So. Congrats, everybody, and congrats, Paul. Thank you, Nathus. Thank you for running it. Yeah. What were you playing today? Uh, a really horrible, horrible thing. I um, I went in the sealed event, your Tuesday night one, and picked up a Hantu River of Souls deck. Oh, nice. Um, but it wasn't just that. It was like there's some other really good – there's a Blight Skull in there and a couple other decent spells. Um, and I've matched it up with a red um, Thundercrash field 
that's got um, your anti-elementalist to get free spells, or Warbringer to get free spells. Um, and games two and three, I basically won the game because of Thunder Crash and free spells and just damaging both opponents. That's crazy. Well, congratulations. Yeah, I actually just opened up your list as you were talking about it, and this looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I've only played a couple of games with it. I only put it together for um, our Aussie Friday night event and um, went to 2 1. I got um, reaped over in uh, game one with double shambler and I just couldn't get anything sort of going early. Mm-hmm. Um, and then went 2 1 with that. And um, yeah, now 3 0 with this one. And yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of a lot of thinking, a lot of planning, and certain spells that you want to level up in cycle one, and it's good get you get you thinking and stuff like that. So I'm enjoying it. That's awesome. Those are the decks that I find the most fun as well. Where it's like you have crazy lines you could do, and you just gotta like figure out the best way to make it happen. Like it's just so enjoyable for me. Yeah, and and I <laughs> thanks to my opponents tonight, I found some extra tricks. Whereas what I've been doing instead of, because I've always gone River of Souls, you know, bring uh, Hantu back to get all the damage and that. Instead of that, now I'm bringing back uh, the Elementalist, ripping off free oh, spells yep. with Thunder Crash instead. And then I'm playing three and four cards a turn three and um, just constantly doing damage. And um, all of a sudden, you know, my spell swarms are, over 15 power sitting there waiting for combat that's incredible honestly i have not thought to do river of souls with your anti elementalist yet Mm. now part of me is like i want to go try that (laughs) (laughs) well the good news is i I recorded everything so i'll um uh, shoot it off on youtube and and post a link so you can have a look at how stupid and and i played played a um just a pickup game year or two days ago against um, Namrog. Yeah. Um, and I was working, so I was a bit distracted. And he actually turned around and said, you should have won that game so much quicker. And I'm like, probably, but, you know, I just wasn't <laughs> focused because it was a bit hard when you are at work. But there are certainly lots of little moving bits. And I still don't think uh, – uh, sorry – I believe there are better red halves out there. And there's probably better River of Souls decks anyway. But um, for me at the moment with my collection, it's just running quite well. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm inspired. I'll, I'll definitely, when you post that link, I'm very excited to watch it. Mm, well, I'm happy to say that I'm pretty sure that's back-to-back winning events for yours. It is. Well. It is, actually. Congratulations. Well, it's, the only, it's the only two events I've ever won. So how's that? You just keep putting them on for <laughs> yeah. me. Thank you. No, no <laughs> problem. Well, next one, I'll make sure you're there. You got to yeah, keep no, up I'd that work. record. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. Until someone builds better than what I've got and destroys me with my own ideas. That's what <laughs> normally Bryce did that. Um, when I first started, I had this idea for a deck and he's gone, oh my God, I never thought of it. That's so good. And then he built a better version of it and destroyed me. Oh, no. <laughs> it's, yeah happens for sure and actually i'm um, solomon did you see that you got the first pick from the door prizes i don't know if he's muted this was from the um, invitational ah. i do actually maybe the next event i run I'll, I'll run a silver and i'll have a deck code or two to give away so i have a couple left in the that i actually wasn't even thinking about maybe i should have given one out today but it's too late now <laughs> Oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, that's all good. Um, thank you, sir. Um, pl- always a pleasure. Yeah. Um, jumping in and having a game, win, lose, or draw. It's always fun to be able to play some games. That's for, for sure. sure. Yeah. And thanks for showing up, especially knowing that it's like you're on the other side of the world. But I guess I think this uh, time works out well for you guys, right? Yeah. It's actually just about to go lunchtime 12 oh, o'clock lunchtime for perfect. us so I've that works got, out well. um, and it worked out well got to do some stuff this afternoon with the family so it works out good for me i can knock it all off and get it done so it's great awesome all right um well i guess i'm probably gonna head back out because i need to start getting a bit earlier because i have my new job's yeah. gonna be further away but 
Um, it was definitely fun playing with all you guys, and I hope you have a good rest of your day and or uh, evenings. Well, either or. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, thanks, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. See you later. See okay, ya. bye. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. This was a really fun event. Congratulations to Paul for winning back-to-back -back events that I've run. So that's really awesome. And the deck that he um, played today, so I'm going to be, and when I post this on YouTube, I post the event links and everything like that. So you could go and look at his list and he had a really cool deck. So I think that would be a, a really fun thing to look at. And honestly, everyone playing tonight had something really cool. So thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.